You guys are gonna be seeing a lot of rare turtles today. That's what the turtle source is all about. Look at that. Look at that, that's a beauty. Look at that. Look at the golden eyes. Oh man. Holy, that's awesome. Look yeah. at the plaster on. Yeah, I got one. I'm good today. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, there's turtles out over here. Look at that. Holy smokes. That's one of the first albino yellow bellies. What? This is just an incredible spot, man. I mean, what a really cool breeding facility. It goes all around us. It's been a long time. The last time we saw Mark Cantos, we were at his old place and he finally allowed me to come here. I'm just kidding. I finally got to this side of the state. Mark, what's going on? How are you? Good buddy? to see you. Buddy. I'm really excited. He's been, we're in the middle of a tour, but it's starting right now for you. This is just one section. Now, what do we call this section? The woods. The woods. All right, so what do we got? I want to see that Volgoli. Can you grab her? No, she'll jump in. Oh, it's man, look at the size of this guy. Her name is Vog Vogelai. It's a female. I probably had her 20 years now. Can I open this and peek in at her? Let's jump in. Here, you open it. I don't know how to operate yep. your thing. I want you guys to see. This is a large uh, Podocnemus species. I have the Unifilis at home. Uh, this is a cousin of that but a little bit more sought after. Look at the size of her. What a pretty, pretty animal right Hopefully there. Hopefully she's cooking eggs because we've never hatched her yet. Okay, so you haven't actually never done that. Her yet. Maybe this year. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot of rare turtles today and in the videos to follow because that's what the turtle source is all about. Mark, how long have you been at it? Um, I've been keeping and breeding turtles for 50 years. 50, 50 years. years this year, yeah. He doesn't look like he's over 50, Thank but this you, guy Danny. looks Thank good for 90 <laughs> years old, right? Uh, incredible. So all these tubs, okay, you know, the thing you guys need to understand is he recently moved. If you, if you want to go back and look at one of our first videos mm -hmm. when I started this YouTube endeavor, uh, when, I, when I came to your house uh, the first time, people loved it. They've never seen so many turtles in one place. Turtle house in the suburbs. It was. Exactly. Now he's on 10 acres and he's spread out. Now, look at how he's totally predator proofed these large cattle troughs. There's a thousand gallon pools. Okay. Completely enclosed. You know, that one's got map turtles in the Vogelai. This one's got uh, southern painted turtles. Okay. And over here we've got eastern painted turtles. Wow, just, I mean, the amount of animals and here. And they can climb up and, and lay and yeah. completely protected. Look at this. So they, they have basking areas. They can climb up. There's an internal ramp. And then this is where his nest box is. And then you just open it up and you sort through. His employees yeah. will sort through like that. And that's how he gets the eggs. Um, See how the door is open here. So this is like a lifetime of uh, research and development. Certainly. To get this certainly. going. All right, so hyacinth important. He, yeah, hyacinth but look, guys, great. look at this. You've got ponds everywhere. The turtles can free roam in here. It's completely, uh, you know, fenced in. There is a way that the dogs and humans can walk in. And what do we have here? I think it's some type of Central American wood turtle. Look at that. Yeah, it's North American wood turtle. Oh, that's a North American. My bad. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at. Everyone's covered. Look at that. North American woods. Um, that run, is amazing. They run free in here with the red foots. Oh, that's so cool. They're elongated. Wow. And over here's some grow up. Um, Dominican sliders in here. Really? There's no lay area because they're only a few years old, but they're big. They're big, huh? Dominican slider. I mean, if I were to stick a hand in there, let's see. You got to pull something out for the folks. You can do it. Get dirty. Look at this, guys. It's like bobbing for turtles here. Although you wouldn't want to put your head under that water, I don't think. No. I can help. I can help. Oh, I caught. I got one. I got one. Oh yeah. Look at that's a beauty. Can you grab it? It's sure. I just I have one hand and it's piercing me. Okay, look at that. Look at the golden eyes. Oh on. man. These are grow up girls. They'll be ready to lay hopefully next year. Look at the face too. Only they about have about three years a, old. Quite a different face. Much more narrow yep. than the sliders in our country. This is uh, Trachemys decorata. Decorata. Wow, Dominican that's a pretty slider. animal. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool looking turtle. Yeah. And, and not liking the attention right now, no. but, but look at those gold eyes. That's nothing really you've ever pretty. seen. That's really, really pretty. That was a good hand. You grabbed that one there. Yeah, man. And they claw you pretty good. That's too. what I was, I yeah. was like, take yeah. this turtle. Yeah. It's killing me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's funny. All right. Yeah. Very cool. Dominican slider. Over here, we've got some orange map turtles. They're all Mississippis that we've held back for the orange color okay. to produce our beautiful high orange maps. Over here, we've got some Western painted. Hold on a second. We're saying hello. 
little red foot just hanging out here. Just guys, imagine just wandering around. This mm -hmm. tortoise has run of everything. So, so much space. Yeah. And look, food, feeding areas everywhere. Yeah, feeding areas and drink bowls too, because this time of year it's dry. Okay. Um, over here we've got growth Geophranus, so they don't have any lay areas. Geophranus, what are these now? What? Um, the, um, the South American turtle. South American turtle? One of the South American toad-headed turtles. Let's see if can... Oh, let's see. They might even be an Argentine. We, got, we cannot have a turtle video without turtles there, buddy. Holy, that's awesome. You see that? That is cool. Let's you got see. that? I think so. You can see that one? Let's yeah, that's pretty. So, a side neck species. And they call it toad head because it's got this large head. Um, almost comically large, but it does fit inside this really, look at how pancaked out this guy is. So these guys are full aquatic, huh? Yeah, you can see a pretty one there. Wow, that's pretty, man. Look yeah. at Plastron. Yeah. And so this is kind of what, you, you know, you're also known for morphs. These, of course, aren't morphs, but right. you are kind of enamored by the colors and things like that, right? I am, but later on I'll show you inside, we do have a morph of these. Oh, you do? But yeah, we have a real pretty peach. Wow. Pastel color. It's it's like this only almost looks albino. It's a really pretty turtle. I mean, it's a pretty turtle to start with. Okay. Uh, but the the morph I'll show you later is is really pretty as well. Carnivore. Very much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty much similar to like a pink belly side neck only from South America. Yeah. There, there you go. Yep. That's pretty man. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. And we'll go back and so these guys hopefully be laying for us in about a year. Right on. Um, come around this side. You can see we always have our water bowls full. The redfoots will come in and put their head down and just drain it out like yeah. a straw in the shape. Yep. Thank you to all our loyal Patreon members out there who have helped to create an amazing reptile community online with us. This week's shout out goes to Joe and Carrie Hathaway. Uh, another another uh, water area I'm gonna I'm gonna be putting in in the next week or so. Okay. This is a lay area I put back here. I, I put the lay area there because the um, turtles kept trying to dig holes and if you look here, you can't really lay anywhere you want here. They lay where we tell them because if you dig down a few inches, right about where it's deep enough to lay, then you hit plastic. Oh, the whole entire okay. pen, the whole entire pen what? is plastic. So you're basically trying to tell shift to their lay. behavior. Yeah, there's just it makes not, it easier not, for you. It's not deep enough to lay there. Okay. It's just not. It's almost is, Guys, especially for the North American woods. I'm but blown not quite. away. I'm blown away by this because of the amount of work. Oh yeah. There's so much yeah. work, and uh, again, guys, this is what are you two years in this facility now? Uh, we moved most of the animals in 2021. Okay. A few in 2020. Wow. And we've been, you know, and it took us a couple years. It took us four years to completely move. That is a lot of work, man. And all these palms and stuff were, were native. We just pulled out everything that was around them that wasn't native. So we've got these nice oaks. And palms. We got some painted turtles. Got some western painted here, okay. just, just, yeah. just, just to keep the hawks off of them. And wow. these, these are the boxes that we'll put the redfoots in at night to get cool. On the oh cool my nights. gosh, you have to go around and find them oh, all? Oh yeah. Oh come yeah. on. Yeah. That's well, a lot of them will put themselves up, the little guys. Holy smoke, there's a couple. There's some, uh, looks like a. Some woods. And, uh, yeah, look at this. Look at this, guys. They're happy in there. We get eggs out of there as well. <laughs> That's amazing. And if you look here, Ken, this is this is Florida's own. This is a leather fern. Yes, they pop in on their own. That's awesome. I got them yeah, in my yard yeah. too. I think they're fantastic. And, and the trick for us was we just prune out the bottom of the tree because okay. you couldn't walk in here if this was a natural tree untouched. So we prune out the bottoms and made this this wooded area. This is what we call it the woods. It was a again. Area. How many adults do you think you look? All, making it easier for them to kind of oh, go yeah. back and forth. How many adults do you think you have in here? Of wood, wood, wood turtles, um, enough to produce about 300 eggs a year. Holy mm. crap! This is this is a natural palm. Yeah, little this cabbage native, palm. Native cabbage palm that was here. Um, and again, I just pruned out everything underneath. But I'm constantly trying to work. on Yeah, this is a really cool section, man. What 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 do you got in some of these, man? These are all temporary ponds set up more or less for stuff that is transient, which means that we, you know we we have it in, we're growing it up, but we're making it for sale. Okay. So there'll be. Uh, uh, Sabine maps over here. That's a real, real rare map turtle. Well, wait a um, minute. I'm going to have to look now. You can find one. There's only eight females in there. There's only eight. Let's see if you can find one. Let's see. Well, I got one. Yeah, you go. <laughs> I'm good today. Sabine map look turtle. at that, Sabine. Now, wait a minute, Sabine. Uh, Louisiana? Florida. Florida. North Florida. North Florida. And I, I think some of the surrounding I, states. I, I just drove 
to Texas and, and I passed over the Sabine River. I just yeah. couldn't remember where it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this, the nice, big, heavy, fat, yeah. happy yeah, girl. Yeah, ready to lay in about a year. Whoa, that's cool. I like to put, we like to put turtles back on land and let them take a breath when they go in. So that's a really cool map turtle there. You got, you got followers coming up to watch your video. Oh, look at this. How pretty are they, huh? You know, the North American Wolverine woods. They're all trained. Look at that. Oh, the, these, these, these girls had, that's a, that's a pretty girl. She probably hatched for us in 99 or 2000. Wow. That's so so cool. they're so trained. That is so cool. People for food. Right, they're so acclimated, yeah. There's some grow up right here. Okay. Another woody over here. This is, is, now all of this, all of this section here so cool. drains into, drains this. into all, all the, the pools drain into this center section here. We put pond liner down underneath it, and then we put the rocks all along the edge. Yeah, it looks and it great. It drains right through and it comes out this way. Okay. And if you have enough water, it'll actually go all the way out. Right, and you have a natural wetland just over here. It drains into That's it. fantastic. And you see these leather ferns filled in in like year two. Yeah, it's amazing. I think it just it gives it a really cool look, and the woods does have that nice wooded yeah. feel. And what's great is it's nice and shady for the North American woods, is. which is why you're successful. And they with like it. it because in the morning they're always there catching that sun. And as soon as it gets hot, you don't see them. They're wow. in the water or they're in the shade awesome. or they're looking for food somewhere. Um, Holy smokes. And, and also you can see too out here, this will be about two feet deeper. So we have this really pretty rock out here, but it'll be about two feet deeper in, in the uh, high water time. Okay. Which comes in about three months. Yep. Uh, over here we've got some more. Um, some more. This, now this is Quang Tung River Turtles over here. Yeah. Very similar to a Reeves turtle. Uh, you can see a couple of woodies yeah. over here. Just having a bite. Yeah. Look at that. So these, these guys are just chowing down, man, and they love it. There's food everywhere. There is. And Look uh, at this. Oh, there's turtles out over here. Yeah, these are, these are different red ear hats. Oh, really? Paradox hats and albino hats. Turtles dropping everywhere. Yeah. All these, so these look like... Western over here. Let's just... Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Let's get one. Let's get one. Just so you know, these were common, guys, in the pet trade, Western pandas. Yeah, and they, they still are. Um, what is it, Bellani? Bellani? What, are the, what is their uh, Latin? For um, some, he's picked a Bellani. I don't, I don't know. Remember. doesn't matter. So. Look, yeah. they're the ones with these lines. Yeah. And then a Midland has a solid blotch yeah. closer to the seam. Yeah, that one probably is a Midland. Yeah. Yeah. And That's you can see the Westerns. You are going to have more of an ornate yeah, carapace. Yeah, have a little brighter colors. Yeah, look at that. See that? That's typical ornate. That's typical Midland. And then you'll see, too, uh, the Midland always has a faint stripe. Okay. Whereas the, the, the Western won't. Won't have that. Well, or it doesn't have as much of it, yeah. Bit. And, of course, the, the, the Midland is the, you know, kind of the mix the of the, the Western yeah. and the Southern. Yeah. So these guys are all, are all doing well here. We just put this up to keep the hawks off. In the winter, we get a lot of hawks. In the summer, we don't have so much. We put all these little hides for, the, for them to jump in, or they'll sleep under there. And then we put these, what they call like a jump box, so the turtles can just jump in. The woodies love to just jump in. In nature, they probably find little puddles to jump in and stuff. And we'll put pellets in there, which is great, because if I put pellets in the main water body, the catfish find it. You know, gotcha. The, uh, walking catfish. And you've been having a real drama with those oh, guys. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's a nightmare for us. We, um, we put so much time into that, and unfortunately, we even lose a few turtles because they eat all the food before the turtles So they're out competing them. Here, swat right over here. You got a mosquito that's been there. There you go. He's been feasting on that <laughs> Cantos blood. So nothing in here? Nothing, nothing in this now. We're just, just growing, growing uh, plants for Gotcha. Um, this is cool. Over here, we've got different ones. This is, um, I believe this is this Texas map. He has so many turtles that yeah, sometimes... He oh, he's got it written down? Awesome. Maps in here. Uh, Pearl River maps in here. Pretty, that's a nice looking turtle. There's some hypo maps in here. A hypo map? Mm. Yeah. You have babies of these, I would imagine. Not yet. No. No, we've, we've, we've got a lot of hats. We haven't, we haven't made the hypos yet. Now, over here we've got our albino yellow belly, which we can see are laying eggs today as we speak because the layers are all... If you notice the other layer is we had nice mounds with lines through it so we could see. Now this is a, obviously a normal so that's, that's a hat. hat. Yeah, that's okay. a hat female. They're all hats or are there actual albinos in here as well? There's, uh, there are albinos in here. I just don't see one right now. Hmm. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, we've worked with these guys for here's about Here's a melanistic eight, one. Eight this one. Oh, here's an albino right there. Look at that. That's a beautiful turtle. Look at that. Holy smokes. That's an albino. That's one of the first albino yellow bellies. What? Where here, and how so and can see it better. how that all happen? Why? A friend of mine hatched these about 15 years ago, 
and he asked me to sell them. There were two babies, and I put a real high price per his request, and they didn't sell, so I just kept them. And I worked out a breeding loan with Clive Longdon, who was much better at it than I am, and doing it longer than me, by the way. And Clive got them going, and Clive started producing yellow belly after yellow belly. Then about a year and a half ago, Clive said he's retiring. He's only going to keep about half a dozen species, and he sent these back. But he probably hatched 200 albinos in that time. Wild. Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful turtle? That is a cool turtle, man. Yeah. And just a, it's an amazing, it's not nothing like an albino red ear. It's a totally different turtle. It is. A bigger, rounder turtle, uh, height-wise, but it's actually smaller than a slider. This is a maximum size for a yellow belly. I mean, that's a, that's a Shaquille O'Neal of yellow belly. Yeah. And you can see her size. For a red ear, that's an average size for an adult, but it's a, it's a monster for a yellow belly. It's just that's a really beautiful, cool. beautiful It's an awesome mouth. Now, let me ask you, flip her, let me see your plaster on. So, you have the, usually those would be dark blotches right there. They'd be more, well, yeah. on a yellow belly, there'd be nothing. Oh, it's I thought yellow, yellow bellies, I thought yellow bellies had a black, two black spots. That's the, they, sometimes they do. Okay. But that's more of a red ear trait, too. Oh. So, it just depends. I mean, if they have a little red ear in them. Gotcha. I mean, they're actually a cousin of the radio. They anyway. are. They're making yeah, me scripted. Script to scripted, right? right? And then it's Elegans is the uh, radio. Right. So this is just script to script, and that's script to Elegans. But but you can see yellow belly. It's yep. still yellow, but this is actually the albino. Very cool. And you look at look at the look at the head up. Close. Yeah, you that's just up. incredible. You can see the red in the eyes there. Yeah, that's big beautiful awesome. girl. And you know, originally was worth her weight in gold. Right. There she goes. Very cool, man. The woods does not disappoint. Right? right. So, yeah, but, a little bit of everything. Look at all this habitat. Look over here. Um, another one of those little jump trays. The, the, the woodies know to go in there for the pellets, but they won't, uh, the catfish can't find them. Catfish, awesome. Catfish aren't running around unless it's raining. Out. This is just an incredible spot, man. I mean, what a really cool breeding facility yet with elements of the natural aesthetic that, uh, you know, exactly. the, the animals like. That's like the perfect hybrid for you. And you know, that's the dilemma too, because I love seeing stuff look natural and cool. Yeah. But the, the reality is, it, it, it doesn't, it shouldn't be that way if you just want to be worried about production. And I can't do that. Yeah. I'd rather make it interesting for the animals and more lifelike for me and for them, but more for them. And if you get really just a box and a, and a lay area and water, you'll produce more. You'll have better control of the eggs. You'll have better control of the animals, but they don't live a natural life. Right. So whenever possible, which is almost always for us, we do this as opposed to just a box. Yeah. Or just a, even, even a waterland, which I love waterlands, but they're great for growing up for, you know, and for small properties and stuff like that. But here we have room. We use the room. We yeah. give the animals the room. I mean, how many acres were you on in your first place? Uh, just under an acre. Just under an acre. And this and is just under 10 acres. 10 acres, and guys, what an amazing use of space. I mean, this this place, to be honest, was basically um, most of your previous backyard. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 And this, guys, this area alone, yeah. It goes all around us. We took a golf cart ride, and it was really, really cool. Definitely envious of the space that he's got here. Uh, so I'll tell you what, we're gonna shut this video down. I am gonna be doing more with Mark Cantos. Uh, it's our once every five or six yeah, years visit. Not, not often enough. I know, we'll make it a little bit more often. Definitely check out the Turtle Source, turtlesource.com, right? If you're interested in any animals that he produces, uh, go have a look. He's got so many different animals. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll have more videos with our friend Mark Cantos here. Uh, on another episode of Camp Kennet. Talk to you guys later. What's his name? Rex. There's Rex. He's not a turtle. <laughs> He's security. <laughs>